Hola. Hola. <laughs> uh, welcome to Lightspeed Spanish, and this is Meet the Socios. And today we are with Brooke Linnet. Have I pronounced your name correctly? Uh, I think it is. Well, my husband says Lanot, but there's some debate in our family, so Linnet is one <laughs> of the pronunciations. <laughs> Okay, okay. I just think of the um, famous singer Phil Linnet. Who yes, used to, my, you know, my husband's yeah. family is Irish, so. Uh, okay, okay. So, Brooke, thank you very much for, for um, offering, you offered to do this interview with us, yes? Yeah? So that yeah, we absolutely. can meet you and find find out a little bit more about you. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a first grade teacher. Uh, my family, mm -hmm. myself, we live in Indiana in the United States. Um, I've been teaching for about 14 years in various grades, mostly elementary school. Um, we live in a small town in Indiana, uh, about 46,000 people. Um, but surprisingly, um, there is a pretty heavy Latino population here. Um, and so that's sort of what has motivated me again to kind of get back into my Spanish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um and uh, how did you come across Lightspeed Spanish? So I've been kind of in and out of Spanish since about eighth grade and, you know, high school, college, except when I took a little break and did Swahili for a semester. Um, and, you know, my one regret was that I never really traveled abroad, so I kind of left it behind. But then here recently, probably in the last couple of years, I really had this desire to kind of get to it again. And uh, I was using Duolingo and listening to a lot of music. And probably about a year ago, I just started to become more and more obsessed looking for more and more resources. Um, and so I started looking at um, YouTube and finding different resources there. And you know how YouTube works, you find one and it leads you to another and to another. Uh, and then I started thinking, you know, this is great for when I'm, you know, uh, at the gym or whatever, but um, what about when I'm in the car and I want to listen to something else? So then I started looking into podcasts and that's sort of how I came across you and Cynthia and I was listening to it and depending on the level, I could understand it pretty well. But when I got to some of the more advanced ones, I thought, gosh, I wonder if there are any videos. So I would like to be able to watch them when they're talking to see if that helps. So I went to YouTube again and looked you up and there you were. And so I watched a lot of YouTube videos and then found your website and went down the rabbit hole. And I actually just became <laughs> a Sarasocio member less than a month ago. So Okay. Okay. Excellent. Um, well, thank you very much for supporting us and, and thanks for being a, a socio as well. Um, so shall we speak a little bit in Spanish then? We can give it a try. How do you feel? Yeah, why not? Sure. Eh? Why not? Uh, some Just some nice uh, straightforward questions. Entonces, uh, Brooke, una pregunta. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué español? Um, para mí... Uh, estudio español porque me gustaría hablar con los padres de mis estudiantes que hablan español y a veces tengo un estudiante que uh, no habla inglés todavía y uh, uh -huh. pienso que si puedo tratar de hablar en español un poco uh, puede uh, ayudarlos a sentirse más cómodo Y sí. quiero hablar español. Claro, sí, sí. ¿Y te consideras como obsesionada? Sí. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, especialmente en el año pasado y ahora uh, estoy muy obsesionado, sí. Sí, es normal. ¿eh? Y, y tienes que estar obsesionado para realmente para aprender un idioma, ¿no? Sí. Por, porque no puedes hacerlo dos horas a la semana. Sí. ¿No? Yeah, sí. Dos horas por semana. Entonces, ¿cómo es tu semana eh, típica? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo estudias tu español? Um, estudio cada día. Uh, por la mañana y uh -huh. por la tarde. Escucho música en mi coche. Y uh, cuando hago ejercicios al gimnasio, Veo los videos de YouTube y veo los videos de uh -huh. ser socio. Y por la noche, típicamente, um, veo más videos y hago tarea en mi cuaderno o um, hago la tarea de ser socio. Y un poco uh -huh. leo. Uh, ahora me gusta leer uh, los libros para niños. <ríe> es más sí, sí, sí. Ajá. Ajá, claro. Bueno, 
Entonces, en, en un día típico, ¿cuántas horas pasas estudiando? Ah, en un día típico, más o menos dos o tres horas. Joder, sí. está, está muy bien eso, ¿eh? está muy bien. Sí, pero sí. Y, y parece que más, uh, o cuanto más aprendo y menos sé. Te entiendo perfectamente. <risa> Eh, Brooke, es muy normal. ¿Sabes? La, eh, lo he dicho antes, las personas más, eh, con más confianza son los principiantes. Uh -huh. ¿Sabes? No, no saben lo que no, no saben. Entonces piensan, sí, conjugar verbos en presente, sí. Y luego aprendes que <risa> hay much, muchas conjugaciones y el pasado, el, el futuro, oh, el subjuntivo. ¿Cómo vas con el subjuntivo? Uh, no me gusta. <risa> ¿Has empezado a estudiarlo? Uh, un poco. Um, yo prefiero hablar con uh, mis estudiantes en primer grado porque uh -huh. no necesito usar uh, las conjugaciones más difíciles. Claro, sí, 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 sí. Sí, eh, pero bueno, es, es algo que se tiene que hacer. En algún momento ya tienes que estudiar el subjuntivo, ¿no? Sí. Muy bien. Y en tu opinión, ¿cuál es, cuál es la, la, la parte más como difícil de aprender eh, español? Para mí es difícil tener paciencia conmigo misma porque a veces pienso que, oh, debería entender más o debería saber más, pero mm. uh, aunque... Uh, yo entiendo que es un proceso. Claro, sí, sí, sí. sí. Entonces, paciencia, ¿no? Sí. ¿Y, y la parte más fácil, en tu opinión? Um, es fácil porque uh, me encanta el idioma y me gusta aprender uh, sobre los uh, varios países y la cultura y la gente. Uh, me gusta la música y la comida. Um, uh -huh. Algo así. Bueno, sí, sí. Y, y tiene que gustarte, ¿no? Es, 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 es muy importante. Si, si lo haces y no quieres hacerlo, es trabajo. Si lo haces por amor, que no es trabajo, ¿no? Sí. Y, y es placer. También, uh, simplemente me, gusta, uh, me gustan los sonidos, no los sonidos del de idioma. Uh -huh. Es uh -huh. bueno. Sí, estoy de acuerdo. Recuerdo cuando llegué a México... Pensé, uh, me gusta, me gusta. Y, y, y eso de, de viví cuatro años en Marruecos y escuchaba el francés. Pero no me, no sé, el español, no sé, me, me, me daba algo muy especial. El sonido sí. y, y, no sé, la, la melodía, ¿no? Sí, de la, como la música. Sí, sí. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Pues muy bien, muy bien. Ok, Brooke... Well done, eh? You, you, you speak in Spanish really well, very nicely, and you explain Thank yourself you. very nicely. Excellent. Well done. You're doing a good job. Yeah? Thank you. Um, uh, let's close the interview with a top tip. What would you recommend to other people who want to learn Spanish? Something that, uh, that helps. Well, well, firstly, everything that you and Cynthia have ever said, I totally agree with. So anything that comes out of your mouth or her mouth, totally agree with. So anybody can listen to you and, and know a top tip. Um, but also a top tip that I would give is something that I'm struggling with and I know I need to be better at doing this, but would get out there and speak with native speakers. Um, I actually do have some people that I work with who are native speakers, but finding the time and you always feel like you're imposing on them to have this really like elementary conversation that's very slow and painful. Um, but then just finding the time in the day, you know, you're at work and so it's not always convenient. And for mm -hmm. me, one of my regrets in college was never traveling abroad. And I know a lot of people can't afford to do that. And I'm working on that right now. But just being able to get out there, put yourself out there and speak with people is, yeah. is important. I mean, even even like I said, speaking with I have a little girl right now in my classroom who's from Mexico who doesn't speak English. And even the little bit of practice that I get with her every day is it gives me a lot of confidence. And, and kids are so forgiving when you make a mistake. And they really can be very helpful, even though she's, you know, six years old. <laughs> So sure, yeah. getting yeah. out there and speaking, I think, is the most, one of the most important things you can do. I completely agree. And, and I think it's one of the, it's the skill 
that it's the most important skill and it's the one that gets shoved to the back. Particularly in education, you know, if you look at the, the way that exams are set, it's like written, reading, yeah. and then a little bit of speaking. Yeah. No, we need to we need to switch that around, you know, speaking mostly and a little bit of writing. Yeah. Absolutely. But we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. Brooke, well thank you very much for the for the interview. It's been fantastic. I, please um I want you to just take take one thing away. You've mentioned this um this word a number of times when you refer to your Spanish and you use this uh, the word like something like simplistic or, or very basic. Yeah. Your Spanish is not simplistic or basic. You've okay. got a really nice level. You, you, everything that you wanted to say, you said. You were completely understandable, and and you were using. You weren't. You, you, you're by no means in that level of simplistic and basic. So give yourself a pat on the back. Eh? Well, thank you very much. And I have to say, honestly, in the last couple of months that I've been watching your videos, you and Cynthia, it's been a tremendous help just to be able to hear a native speaker and hear a conversation. And your rapport together is, is so engaging. So I really appreciate that. Excellent. Well, uh, we, we hopefully will we'll keep that going because uh, it's the, the best fun that we have is when we're sitting making videos together. Yeah. So I think it comes across, doesn't it? That it does. Enjoy very it much. As well. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, Brooke. Well, thank you very much. And I will work on editing this video and we'll get it up today so that people can see you and meet you and, and, uh, and hear some great advice. And you, 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 you know, you've impressed me and I'm sure you'll impress other people with your dedication and your level. Thank you very much. Okay, Brooke. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.